When the sun is active, it can spew out huge clouds of plasma into space. Most of the times, it goes off harmlessly into space. But sometimes that plasma comes straight at Earth and dumps huge amounts of energy into the upper atmosphere. If you can predict when a coronal mass ejection will arrive, then you can forecast what the response of the upper atmosphere might be. We've never had a whole atmosphere operational. A model that can actually take the solar-driven space weather events and the terrestrial weather, space weather events. The model is one of the state-of-the-art model in the world. The full name of the model is the Coupled Whole Atmosphere Model and Ionosphere Plasmosphere Electrodynamics Model. We can predict the huge buildups of plasma at mid latitudes that will impact GPS. One of the exciting applications, I think, is for the, the drag on satellites, for orbit prediction, for collision avoidance. We capture the weather from the lower atmosphere all the way to the space domain. On top of that, we include all the plasma processes because above 100 kilometers, it's not just the neutral atmosphere. How this plasma process interact with the neutral atmosphere is something pretty complicated. But we need to capture that in order to understand how does this plasma fluctuation impact our communication systems and navigation systems. It started in about 2004. About 2008, we had a working model. We were able to start demonstrating a lot of these space weather effects from the lower atmosphere. Then of course we had to add all of everything that goes on in the upper atmosphere. We had to add all of that physics into the whole atmosphere model. So we were at a point where we could demonstrate that it was actually of practical value for communication operators or improving the accuracy of GPS. So we suggested that it would be a good model to be transitioned into operations at NOAA at the Space Weather Prediction Center. We got our model into operation in July 2021, and we start to have people contact us from rocket company, from satellite companies. We work with airlines. We also work with a lot of different customers for navigation. Seeing that side of the work is something that quite amazing for researchers. It's really been a multi-agency activity, bringing together the series scientists at the University of Colorado, of course the NOAA scientists at uh, Space Weather Prediction Center and the EMC, the Environmental Modeling Center on the East Coast. But it also involved the Air Force Office of Scientific Research and the National Science Foundation. It really serves two different user groups. The first are operational systems that rely on some sort of radio wave propagation. It might be like satellite navigation, like your GPS system in your car. The second is the drag on a satellite, which is important for collision avoidance, which of course is a huge issue at the moment because of the increase in the number of satellites that are being launched into low Earth orbit. The society is using more and more technology, rely on more and more satellites. Our product become more and more important.